and good game and good night. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode with Mana Mana, and today we've got a Jucifer, we've got Agatha's Anger. Now, the key point of this matchup, we got a lot of different synergies here, but the thing is, I want to have a lot of activated abilities, because with Agatha of the Vile Cauldron, we are running four, which is a little overzealous, but this is more of a fun deck than a super hardcore meta deck, so I just want to have a little bit of fun with this. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain trample until haste of the end of turn, but the key point here is, is that... The activated abilities of all creatures you own are X less to activate where X is her power. Now, if you have the, uh, there's some multiple ways that we can get this up. The first thing is Kamano faces Kakazan. Just get it up into a 2-2, very simple. The next way is to be going for Rabbit Battery and just attach it to it. So that kind of makes you think, well, we got Rabbit Battery, which is equipment. We got Kamano faces Kakazan, which is a plus one, plus one counter. So then we've got Goro Goro. Because we have the activate ability with three and two red, create a 5-5 five, five dragon spirit creature token with flying, but we can only activate that with a modified creature. We have plenty of ways to make modified creatures with plus one, plus one counters. We've got royal treatment. We've got the Agatha, obviously, with the lizard blades and rabbit battery. So there's no shortage of modified creatures. And also the Vault Aaron uh, Thrill Seeker also gives two plus one, plus one counters. So absolutely no shortage of those. If you have the Thrill Seeker and you actually can buff up this thing for game, because you can use the one sacrifice this creature deals damage to equal to any target. You can use this on a Maze Crusher, bump this up to like a 6-6, six, six. you get the Thrill Seeker, makes it an 8-8, eight, eight, and then you can blow itself up and just finish the whole game. And again, all of these activated abilities are going to be cheaper because of the Agatha of the Vile Cauldron, which I hopefully, like I said, it usually just dies when it first comes out, but that's why we have the Royal Treatment. So hopefully we can give Agatha the Royal Treatment. I do have the Rampaging Raptor, makes it a return. I do think this card is pretty fun to use. Um, it does get walled off by Sheldred, which is absolutely terrible, but... If you have this out with Agatha at power two, with like a Kamana Faces Kakazan plus one counter on Agatha, this thing just for one measly red, you can just pump it up plus two, plus zero, and that's pretty freaking good. It does have trample as well. And special shout out to Ortheon, Hero of Lava Brink. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this, I'm not gonna lie to you. I hopefully we can, but uh, for a whopping nine, which again, you could, you know, make it a little bit cheaper with Agatha uh, in due time, with like the Thrill Seeker, with Rabbit Battery, etc, etc, or a Royal Treatment, get that power nice and up, but <laughs> create five tokens that are copies of another target creature you control, they gain haste and then sacrifice them, but again, if you can make like, you know, like five Thrill Seekers or five Rampaging Raptors or something like that, that would be pretty fun. I got this in here because this is the point of the deck, we just want to have a lot of activated abilities in the deck and hopefully Vile Cauldron can activate it, but that's the deck here. It is more of a meme -y fun deck, but don't take this into the ladder thinking you're going to be the top thousand mythic or anything like that. It is more of a fun deck, but go ahead and leave me a like. The like button looks just like this, helps out the channel tremendously. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not already, and let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. Michael 90, how are we doing here? All right, this is a, the, one of the more interesting decks I've ever built. And hey, I saw that that is a mulligan. We're going to give you the friendly mulligan. Hello, everybody needs a mulligan. Everybody needs a friend when you take a mulligan. I've been screwing that up a lot lately. I don't know why I've been doing that. But either way, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Rat, Uspara's headquarters. I just assume it's Rafine's tower, but all right, let's go for a rabbit battery. Probably going against five color nonsense. So we got to be very, very quick if we want to win this. We do have the Maze Crusher, which can take care of, um, should be able to take care of enchantments. It does take a, a little bit of, um, investment to do that, though, so. Alright, unfortunately, I won't say unfortunately, but we can't really play this Kamanu down, because we, we don't have anything to really target with the Tail Swipe. So, let's go in for the Lizard Blades, and then just swing in here. Alright, Lizard Blades definitely can make or break the deck. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good. Alright, Temporary Lockdown, we can get that back with the Maze Crusher, but it definitely slows us down considerably. So, let's do just that, and be on our way. Ba bam Hopefully they don't get rid of this thing. I would assume, yeah, this has definitely got to be like the, um, the up the beanstalk control type of build. But even if they get rid of the Maze Crusher, we still have a, a decent amount of firepower. I do hope we get into another red source, just because Rampaging Raptor, but... Alright, let's see what we got here. Um... Wow, and they, oh, we get a Rockfall Veil, which is just beautiful. And if I remove the three oil counters from here, I can destroy the target enchantment, which, I mean, I could get back. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. 
I think we're going to do this rather than going in for Rampage and Rapture. So let's take the Crusher. Use you. Ba-bam. Just kill this temporary lockdown. Leyline Binding. Okay. Unfortunate. Yep. I, I, would, I really wish we had a Royal Treatment right now. But we are still going to get these back. And I think I can live with that. Instead of giving um, haste to the Lizard Blades for Double Strike, which is pretty cool, I think I'm going to lean going t for the Kamanu. I think we're going to do this instead. Yeah, I think I think I like that a little bit better. Let's just let's just get the Kamanu online. Feels a little bit better, a little less short-sighted, but the little unbinding on the Maze Crusher, eh, that's okay. Herd migration, so they are gonna gain life. Again, we have to just be very, very fast. If they get into the invasion of Alara, which is very, very possible, then it's pretty much game over for us. So we just zoom zoom. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got, we can go in for the Rampage and Raptor, which is going to be, d by default, the plan. Um... Yep, let's go in for you. The reconfigure is two, so I can't exactly do that. So let's just go ahead and drop the Rampaging Raptor. Come in as a 5-5, five five, which is beautiful. And we want to just go for Tail Swipe immediately. I think we kind of do. Well, let's actually, hold on. I don't think they're going to play anything worth tail swiping. I, I really don't. So I think we have to just be, again, just as fast as possible. Yeah, it, it feels super gross, but I'm going to do it. Ugh. Ugh, just a tail swipe on this little token. Feels very, very wasteful, but I think we have to just go in here. Um, swinging with the rabbit battery. I guess I guess we'll just do this. This has double strike, so we don't have to worry about that. Ugh, all right. The nice thing about uh, ramp, uh, the Rampaging Raptor is that we will be able to use the activated ability. Of course, we want Agatha to come in to make this thing basically cheaper. But we can still use it kind of as like a Mana Sync ability. And if they don't have Invasion of Alara, Invasion of Zendikar, that is not going to be good enough now. Next turn, it might be good enough. But if we take the Lizard Blades and Rampaging Raptor, I think we might be okay here. So we're going to get this double strike. They are completely tapped out. So we're not worried about anything like that. So let's take let's take the Lizard Blades. Reconfigure it to the Rampaging Raptor. This will get give it double strike. Yep. So... Let's do this. Activate the ability. 7-7, seven, seven, which is 14. And that is going to be 16. And that is going to be 17. Rampaging Raptor, they give us a nice, we'll say thank you, and good game, and good night. Zodrak, how we doing here? This is an, uh, it's an okay hand. I, I think we can keep it. Like I said, we, we're more, we're kind of like a combo aggro deck rather than just straight out aggro. So we can keep it despite not having um, a solidified one drop in here. Okay, well, we got our mountain, and now we don't have to worry about it. Very, very cool. All right. Let's go in for our Kamanu. I think we can set up the Lizard Blades for turn two. Get a 2-2 two -two with Double Strike. That feels pretty good. Tough cookie. All right, let's see how tough you are, buddy. Let's see just how tough you are. Let's go ahead and play our Lizard Blades here. Can't really protect it with the Royal Treatment, but we do have the Tail Swipe, so... Let's see what you got here, Tough Cookie. Tough Cookie is a great card, though. It's really fun. Oh, so they're just going full on food. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. And a Ginger Brute, just a boot. All right. All right not too I'm not too threatened, though. I think um, I think we can we can eat the food. I'm not, I'm not too worried about you. Let's try to play the Rockfall Veil. Vale. And... Hmm. Do I really want to waste? I don't. I don't know. Like, what, what do they play here? They could have. Um, they have like a plethora of things. I guess we could always go for the royal treatment too. I'm actually. Let's let's play the rapid battery. And we're gonna put it behind the Kamanu. Sure, and then hold up the royal treatment. I think that's pretty okay. We could also tail swipe on their turn. Ooh, wow. Okay, so they're gonna be a double strike and an etching. So I mean, I get. We could always go for the tail swipe or a royal treatment as well create a food token depending on what they play here night of sweets revenge okay yeah that's fine they're gonna be able to play something else now welcome to sweet tooth all righty keep it coming keep it coming 
and another ginger bro. Okay, well, they're out of cards. Okay, so here's the whole gang. All right, and I'm thinking, I, I think I kind of do want a tail swipe, but let's keep the tail swipe for when they target their thing with the sweet tooth. I think that's going to be the best way to do this. Okay, Miglaz Maze Crusher. That is pretty gosh darn awesome. Um, how do we want to play this? Are they, are they, they're not really going to trade here, right? There's no way. Let's, let's swing in. Yeah, no, let's just swing in. We could go for the Maze Crusher, give it haste, but like, that's not really a good move. All right, just a chump block. We do have double strike. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fine with me. Gain your life. That's step. Yep, that is absolutely fine with me. And next to damage, boom, take him down to 12. Drop the maze crusher. Hopefully crush some dreams. And now we can go for tail swipe as well. Yep, alright, let's do this now. So let's go for the tail swipe. Crusher on the, the tough cookie. Ba bang. Hopefully they didn't draw into like a royal treatment or something. I think this deck does run royal treatment. So that's a good sign. They are tapping. They want to get their mana ability off of it first. I understand completely. So there they go. They're gonna make some four fours before we fight. This is only to the end of turn, though, so, like, I'm not really that threatened. Like, if they want to just sink all their mana into this, that's fine. Yep, like I said, this is only till end of turn, so I'm actually okay with just, if they swing in here, like, whatever. They do get another Sweet Tooth, though, and that's a little worrisome. 12 life. I mean, if they if they aren't careful, we could always give our Miglaz. Well, we're definitely gonna, we're definitely gonna kill the Sweet Tooth here. That's definitely on the agenda. We'll go ahead and flex on them just because they want a rope. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Bang. Bang, bang, bang. And we'll go ahead and go with play of fire just to finish them off. Oh my god. You can't. I can't stand the ropers. I'm going to have to edit this. I hate editing matches, but I do love winning matches. Rampage and Raptor on the top just for fun. GG's. Get out of here. Go rope somebody else. Bunkai, 0-0, zero, zero. how are we doing here? Alright, this is a pretty standardly good hand. I mean, this is kind of what we want to do. We want to go for the Kamana Faces Kakazan, get a Gatha up to 2 power, and then use all of our creatures' activate abilities for much cheaper. That feels pretty good. We've got two Maze Crushers, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. Of course, having Kamanu out on the curve is pretty wonderful. Zyatsaur is proving ground, so I'm assuming immediately once I see these like kind of Triome lands, they're not technically Triomes, but the new Capenna Trilands, I assume that we're going against the Leyline, um, the, the Beanstalk kind of thing. Virtual Persistence, unfortunate, very unfortunate. And we get a, a Royal Treatment, just, just some salt in the wound, and you gotta freaking love it. You gotta freaking love it, baby. Alright, we still have a play with fire to kind of fix our next draw and a royal treatment, so I guess it could be worse. Yep, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, play with fire here. I definitely want a land. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Any land will do. We do have two maze crushers too, so we can always go for the royal treatment later. That's fine. Swing in and drop our maze crusher. So, pretty much acting like a stereotypical... I just killed a bug. I just killed a bug and I'm pretty proud. I'm not pretty proud about this counter. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. They held up priority and I was really, I was really nervous. Depopulate. At least we'll get a card back though. I guess it's not the worst thing ever. And we don't get into our fourth land. That is really disappointing. I was really banking on that. Really, really sad. But there's really nothing else we can do. The Thrill Seeker can come out as a 3-3 vanilla and then we can Royal Treatment ourselves. But... Up the Beanstalk, the Mace Crusher can actually take care of the Beanstalk, but we want to be aggressive, so I don't even know if that's really going to be the move. Rockfall Veil, thankfully, that is going to be the move. We definitely love that. Um, I think we're just going to go for the Thrill Seeker. I think we have to be aggressive. I think we just have to be. Thrill Seeker, we're going to give this... Plus six, or plus two counters. Swing on in. Bang, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pop you off. Yep. So sacrifice one deals damage equal to any target. Bang. 
and then we can finish them off with the play with fire. If they have no way to gain life, which I don't know, this could be actually pretty bad. If they have another virtue of persistence, there goes our whole game plan. Hopefully they do not. Okay, Refine's Tower, please no top deck into another virtue of persistence. No way. Thank goodness the Rampaging Raptor saved us. I was so tilted. Ooh, I was over. I was. I, that, I was gonna let that ruin my day. It is what it is. No Beanstalk. We're the new Jack. Get out of here, Beanstalk. Peanut. Well, let's see if we got a peanut allergy for you, Peanut. All right, let's see what's going on here. Just uh, no green cards to have been seen here, and uh, I think I think we actually lucked out. I. I mean, I have a bad. For some reason, it's only the Gruel Lands where I confuse the ca uh, the Capis. Carplusian Forest with the Rockfall Veil. It's only that one. I don't know why, but let's go in for our Kamado Faces Kaxen. Let's save the Rabbit Battery for a further time. So it looks like I'm just going to go against Mono White, which, eh, it is what it is. I've seen scarier. Kamado Faces Kakazan will buff up our creature. I'm going to go in for the Lizard Blades. A Double Strike 2 2 feels pretty good. I want to make the most use of the plus one, plus one, and. We can go in for Maze Crusher. Eh. Eh. I definitely think that... We definitely would like to see an Agatha at some point, though. Agatha with the Maze Crusher and the Rampaging Raptor. Just so nice. Yep. I am going to just drop the Maze Crusher. Nothing fancy here. Nothing fancy here. And so yeah, I'm going to swing with the Lizard Blades. We might as well, right? I mean... Yeah, let's do it. Double strike, take you down to 15. That feels pretty good. Alright. Oh, here comes Mr. Convoke. This deck is really, really good here, especially with the Spellbook Vendor. Gotta give it up. Alright, so how do we want to play this? I think what we do... Let's not go for the Rampaging Raptor yet. It, it's No, let's not do that. I think what we do is put Lizard Blades on the Crusher. Yeah, I guess we we actually could just swing with the lizard blades as is. Well, I think this is a little bit better. Let's put it on. Let's put it on the crusher, and then let's just go double. Let's do a Kamanu, and then rabid battery. Yeah, that's fine. Cause I actually I actually don't want to. Cause I don't want to do the the vi vigilance and menace. I don't think that really helps us that much. I'd rather just kind of swing in here. And the plus two, I mean, I guess we could threaten for lethal, but getting the Kamado down feels pretty okay as well. I think next turn we can start doing our stuff here. And another Knight. Okay, so they're going to go for the Convoke, but the, here's the thing, though. I, I mean, they, yeah, they overextended way too hard. This Maze Crusher is just going to crush right through them. Beating stick, how you doing here? All right, so no green to be found other than this little forest here, but that's okay. We will go ahead and drop down our Kamado Faces Kagazan, make sure they think that we're playing mono red, and then we switch it up, play out Lizard Blades, and then they're like, what on earth am I playing against? And that's like, yep, that's right. All right, Tail Swipe, there's a green card. All right, let's drop you. And let's go in for Lizard Blades, yep. That's right. That's right. We are playing Lizard Blades, Beating Stick. That's right. Okay. Now we do need to get. I mean, I. I have to, ooh. Well, I was actually going to. Um, I was going to put a stop on my upkeep <laughs> so that I can play play a fire just to ensure that we draw a land. But ah, eh, it is what it is. We'll be okay. We do have a Gatha, which is pretty nice. And I'm just going to swing in here. No games. Absolutely no games to be had. If they do have um, Fairy Mastermind, we will readjust. And that's not gonna- no such luck. Instead of going for Agatha, we have plenty of threats on the board. I'm gonna hold this down, just so I can potentially Tail Swipe or play with Fire. Yeah, that's fine with me. So they can untap this, which is worth noting. Okay. Yeah, let's just go with the play with Fire. I definitely want to get into my third land here. And, ooh, an Ortheon, that, I mean, that's a really cute combo with Agatha, but unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be the play here. So, let's do this. Ooh, we do get into our third, which is nice. Um, 
let's, I mean, uh, let's just go in for the Valdir and th Thrill Seeker. I know we kind of typically want to do the, the Agatha nonsense, but not looking good right now. I'm going to put on the Lizard Blades. Swing on in. We can't swing in with you. No, can't do that. Because you can untap yourself, and I don't want to die. I'm not going to put our etching to the fire. Really? I'm just going to chump block? Oh, wow. That... Oh, ooh, okay. So, let's see. Do they have depopulate, is the question. They do... Well, I mean, they may. Wow. Okay. It's got to be Emperor, right? It's got to be Emperor. I don't want to... Man, I don't want to... It has to be Emperor. It literally has to be. So, let's take... Hmm, okay. Well, let's drop a Gatha. I'll tell you what. Let's drop a Gatha, because this way, I'm not swinging with my Lizard Blades. I know it's like, it's it's bait. It's bait. Let's do this. Let's take the Lizard Blades, reconfigure it for one. It's typically two, but a Gatha, because it's it powers one, we're going to go ahead and do this for one. And let's just put this on the Kamado here. I am. I don't want to get my, uh, my Lizard Blades Emperor, so let's do this. Let's do this. I know it's the Emperor, so... I think that gives us- oh. Okay. Hmm, I was not- I was not expecting that, so we're gonna lose our Thrill Seeker? Ugh, that doesn't feel good. Dang, okay. Maybe I, uh, man, I definitely overplayed that. We do have the Tail Swipe. But, yeah, I don't- I don't- ooh, I don't even know what the heck we're playing against anymore. I was just kind of assuming this is like, some sort of like, just like, really stereotypical control build, but... Okay. We could go for Ra- we could go for Raptor here. It puts a lot of pressure on them, that's for sure. Hmm. I'm scared of the Emperor, I, I really am. Let's swing in here, I kinda have like have it holding up the tail swipe. Let's use the Raptor as a potential finisher. Man, you just gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh my god, okay. Not the end of the world, we can kill the Wandering Emperor, but I've pretty aggravating. Oh. Let me show you. Alright, exile target tab creature. I wish we had something else that we could play, but um, tail swipe is gonna have to be the best that we can come up with. So let's do this. Kill the bodyguard. Yep, that's fine. Let's do that. Get the Kamado to go. But yeah, it's really unfortunate. I guess that's Dang, I was prepared for the Wandering this Emperor. What you get for hurting my At least we'll be able to get two with the, ra the Raptor next turn. But dang, that's... Ugh. Agatha will make Rampaging Raptor's ability one less. But typically, we I mean, it's not. it only has one power. So like, it's not that great. So, one, two, one, two. They can't do anything with the Sleep Curse Fairy. Let's go ahead and just drop the Rampaging Raptor. If they have a counter, that is abhorrently terrible. Which I'm assuming they... Dang, Spell Stutter. Spell Stutter? You don't even really have... What is go? What is... What am I playing? What, what am I playing here? I'm not gonna attack, because they could flash in a, a werewolf, so... Nah, or why? Is it a werewolf? It's a werefox, I guess. Picklock Prankster, what is going- what is this deck? This is crazy. I appreciate the, um, the uniqueness though. I don't know what- what the hell is this deck? So we have a Gatha. We can give everything plus one, plus one, Trample Haste. I mean, that's gonna be- have to be our only move here. Uh, Destroy Target Tapped Creature. Okay. So the Volume Thrill Seeker does add a little bit of spice to the deck. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead and drop the Valderan uh, Thrill Seeker. No way. A Spell Stutter. Oh my word. Destroy target tapped creature. They can still play this, huh? No, we're going to have to just pass. We're going to have to just pass, and hopefully at the Agatha we can find something. But they are almost out of... They're almost out of tricks, so we got we to top deck something here. I don't even know exactly what I would like to top deck because they have they have a free kill here. Rampaging Raptor. Okay. Let's just drop it. Hopefully they don't have another spell stutter. Okay, they don't. Thank God. 
Do I swing in is the question. Do they use the threadbind click? I think we have to say no. And I, yeah, I don't I don't want to give you that. Aaron and Giada, oh my goodness. The only way we can win is if they're gonna do this, we have to just use the activated ability, whichever one they don't use. And oh my gosh, now they just play stuff right on top, and this is a nightmare. I think this is gonna be I think this is gonna be GG's, unfortunately. Put my raptor on, in the stun. Ugh. And a nice little land that does nothing. Very, very sad. I think we're just going to have to swing in and use Agatha. Let's see, three, five, seven. Wait, wait. Okay, so there's still some hope. I mean, I think I'm going to keep Agatha just because we, we got to keep it for the Raptor, but. <laughs> They're really scared of that raptor. I I don't blame you. I do not blame you one bit. All right, let's give them an opportunity to at least block. Maybe they want to. No, they don't. Okay, that's fine. They don't have lethal, but like I said, I, I just don't see how we're gonna get out of here. Wandering Emperor sh should seal the deal. You started this fight, but I'm going. To yeah, that's still really actually yeah, that actually just Please makes it uh lethal. But fight. you know, it is what it is. Good game. Sion1326, how are we doing here? Alright, pretty decent. We do have the Tail Swipe with the Rampaging Raptor, which, you know, flavorly, if that's a sense, uh, makes sense. I'm gonna go for Kamanu, just because we can get the Rabbit Battery with haste, but I think you can make a, if we had a better, um, a, typically we do want the Agatha. Lizard Blades, okay, I am gonna actually take a little bit of a pivot, and we're gonna go in for the Lizard Blades instead of Rabbit Battery. 2-2, two, two. thankfully they don't have a cut down. Cut down would have like ruined our fun early. Orzov, Spirited Companion, okay. Let's see what we want to do here, because, ooh, a Thrill Seeker. Thrill Seeker is nice, we just kind of buff up something on our board, which of course we love. Um, the Spirited Companion is a little yucky though. Let's see what we, um... The problem is we, can't, we have to reconfigure this with a green, so... I think it's better off that we just go in for the Thrill Seeker. And I think we're just gonna put it on. Let's put it on the Kamanu. I know that I know that it could be better, but I think if we just put it on the Lizard Blades, they just chump block it anyway. So I don't. I want the most damage to go through. So I think this is a little bit better. Plus, if they leave themselves wide open, we can just put the Lizard Blades on the Kamanu. Another companion. You're a good boy, but not for me. Alrighty, I think it's I think it's rampaging raptor time. Let's go. Re shout out the Rex Raptor from Yu-Gi-Oh! That is right. I'm swinging off. They want to block with the, the Thrill Seeker and just trade here. They're gonna take a whopping, whopping amount of damage here. Down to six already, and let's see, they could have depopulate. I mean, I think I'd de yeah, depopulate's like the only thing that saves them. That's just classic aggro. 